welcome back to my channel or to much new guys once again hopefully you guys are doing well if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon press all to get notification for all my upcoming video so in this video i'll talk regarding the cadets uh, especially deck cadets uh, so the 10 jobs which has to be done by deck cadets on board basically to be very honest there is no job specification for deck cadets they used to do lot of jobs specifically for all ranks from paperwork he used to assist the master chief officer he used to do the deck maintenance he used to do the lsff maintenance his third officer even he used to help if he's a good cadet he, he used to help the second officer for making the basis planning chart correction lot of publication correction that is the way how it is done okay so there is actually for each and every time there is some job specification during your promotion you need to learn the other strengths job okay, so carrot is the only rank where you will get the opportunity to participate in all ranks job okay but you have to perform definitely then only the chief officer will gain a trust on you and he will give the job first and foremost important for a credit of number one tank sounding very important especially i'm a bulk area cadet i have done my cadetship in bulk areas so it was like my bread and butter the soundings in port i was like a robot roaming around here and there 300 303 meters i think yeah 303 meters of long ship i was here and there port starboard like five wbt there five five total ten builders sounding everything in the port time but apart from that i used to do the soundings at regular basis all the tanks bilge uh, WBT, aft peak, then your four peak, all anchor, KB, anchor uh, chain, all. Okay, so the timings are spe specifically said by the uh, chief officer. Chief officer will give you the timing if if uh, four to eight watch is there with chief officer in the morning time, then he might send you like six six thirty to take the soundings, or maybe sometimes after breakfast also, means after eight o'clock also, he used to send you and for first when you will be taking the sounding very initial stages you will find it very difficult but after few days or maybe one month later you will find it is very easy but in port you have to be very accurate very quick mostly you have to be very quick because cargo is loading right and definitely that time in a certain point you always want the sounding otherwise it is difficult for the cargo calculation now ship maintenance number two in this ship maintenance there is lot of things i cannot complete or cover all the things but ship maintenance means from painting to chipping from grooming mopping everything is there okay specifically cadets used to clean uh, bridge maybe sometimes ship's office that also depends on the chief officer sometimes i used to don't clean uh, after four or five months because uh, chief officer told me to keep on used to keep me on the bridge for the lookout watch keeping navigation purposes and uh, otherwise for first four or five months i used to clean the bridge specifically bridge and ship's office so depends now lsf maintenance now how it is going to be done if chief officer is very confident with you and if you are doing great job the chief officer used to send you after lunch okay sometimes some day not really daily basis uh, but uh, with third officer to learn some lsf maintenance like your fire hydrant lapping maybe inventory lifeboat maintenance your fire extinguisher maintenance which things you need to check how to check the tag is there everything then your uh, life jacket your immersion shoot this kind of maintenance will be done by the third officer okay and this information is very important when you will be appearing on the second maths exam it will help you a lot now number four is the deck work deck work basically part of the ship maintenance only so chipping painting your uh, rope work will be carried out at regular basis basically you have to do this from 8 to 3 sometimes 8 to 12 depends on the on the schedule depends on the chief officer how he is to use you basically so this is the thing you have to engage bosun is your boss that time bosun will assign you the job 
Sometimes chief officer used to give you individual job like stenciling is chief officer's priority and you have to do it. Uh, sometimes some uh, inventory like your laundry room inventory or bond store inventory that time chief officer will tell you to do that. So it depends on the chief officer. This also includes in the tech work. Now birthing and unbirthing operation very important. Maybe in initial days you have to just pull and push the rope. <laughs> very truly i'm uh, telling you you have to uh, that do it like that but the day by day when you become the experienced uh, then chief officer might give you the muri Grinch operation okay i used to do that after maybe three or four months i used to take care of the aft muri winches and uh, but first three or four months i used to keep handling the rope only okay first one or two stations you officer told me the stand and uh, look look around what is going on because what I feel mooring operation is the most most critical operation. I will make one video how a deck officer used to do the mooring operation or how he used to behave on that mooring station. That will video I will make later apart. But uh, uh, this is very important that during mooring operation basically all hands on deck, all hands. Now you can uh, understand the severity or the criticality of the operation. Okay, so maybe chief officer will assign you the job and you have to perform like that. Now pilotage operation very important pilotage operation consists of uh, the pilotage rigging and the, all the LSA equipment which has to be standby okay uh, for the pilot uh, if something goes wrong something happen like life boy KK5 KK5 means the inflatable uh, life jacket basically KK5 is the brand nothing but so you have to keep those things ready obviously Bosan will be there your OS will be there uh, so extra hand will be there you have to just assist them okay. Apart from that, if the officers are busy while navigation, Captain might told you that to bring the pilot on board on bridge or sometimes you have to disembark the pilot also. Okay, These things will keep going on depends on the situation it is to be changed. Nothing is static on board. Always remember this thing. Nothing is static. Once uh, and another thing you have to remember that uh, if you are performing well, then only you get this opportunity, this pilotage operation. You have to gain the trust of master chief officer that yeah he is smart cadet he can do it okay because this operation is very delicate don't think that if you cannot handle the rope properly chief officer will give you the mooring winch because if you cannot understand the operation of the rope the handling of the rope you cannot um, operate the mooring winch if you feel that severity the criticality of the rope handling during mooring session then you can only understand the people who are handling the rope how difficult it is so how I will operate the mooring winch how much speed it is required, how will you heave, how will you slack, you have to just keep this thing in your mind, okay. So uh, sometimes you have to fill the pilot card, radio log book on what in pilot is operation is supposed to be on bridge also sometimes uh, captain is to keep you on the bridge, uh, sometimes you have to operate the telegraph also, these all things comes under pilot is operation, okay. Sometimes plot plotting the position you have to do. Now port work and cargo operation very important very very important because you have to remember after completion of a correct ship days you have to promote as a third mate or third officer that time you have to do it port work means port papers and cargo operation means cargo watch another video I will make cargo watch how to maintain the cargo watch and port watch so, same thing basically so you have to engage with third officer to learn the port papers how it has been made how it has been done apart from that during cargo work differ, uh, depends on which type of ships you are in and which type of cargo you are in especially in bulk carriers in the last moment trimming time for a carrot it is very hectic we have to measure the YouTube we have to check uh, the ship is upright or not basically sometimes Steve officer will tell you uh, last time sounding last sounding at the latest call as the uh, final final stage is sounding okay so you have to do it now very important is ice space watch ice space means international ship security and port security watch so in that scenario um, basically it is a gangway watch you have to sometimes gangway watch you will given by chief officer uh, not often very often i don't get got that very often but sometimes maybe some ab used to go for some breakfast or he wants 30 minutes break some that time you have to relieve so what you have to do you have to stand on the gangway you have to check ids obviously there is some there will be some color coding of the ids 
so you have to check the ids who is going and who is uh, departing uh, means boarding and unboarding whatever uh, and this uh, basically embarking and dis disembarking that is a proper word and apart from that you have to maintain the gangway logbook and by meantime you have to check the morning winch also means morning ropes the tightness of the morning ropes and it is slack or tight these things you have to keep it in your mind very easy thing not very hard but you have to be very vigilant this job basically is very vigilant job now paperwork at sea paperwork at sea i already told you like some crew change is happening so you have to do that master list changing these things you have to do apart from that key logs different checklist uh, familiarization then your rest towers these things you have to do uh, you have to do okay as a cadet basically you will be the assistant of the chief officer the chief officer will tell you what to do you just follow the instruction and do it and last but not the least your bread and butter that is your navigation the navigation you have to assist the chief officer depends on your watch and in that period try to learn bridge equipment very very important equipment which has been given to you to use it wisely properly effectively efficiently this thing should remember okay you have given a mobile and you don't know how to use it what is the use of that mobile you have given an ipad you don't know how to use an ipad what is the use of the ipad no use basically you as a cadet if you are a cadet now i am assuming you have a modern era or modern technology so you used to know that thing that how to use the tap text what is the function of the gps how to use the egdis radar i am not telling you be a master on that you cannot be no one cannot be even second officer who is a navigation officer even he don't know some functions of the egdis basically all 100% is not required actually but still he is lacking sometimes happening for that manuals are provided on board you can read the manual and you can learn so you have to these things you have to learn like how to change the sat c paper naptex paper these things should be in your hand okay maintaining log book your gms log book your bridge log book these things you have to know how to observe the wind your swell wave these things you have to know okay basic function of radar how to do performance monitor then and some deficit tricks, some navigation tips and tricks. What is the situation is going on? What will be the action? You don't need to take the action. As a cadet, you are not authorized to take any kind of action. But you can tell, uh, sir, you have to tell like this, sir, I am thinking this is the thing. So what will be the action? I am thinking this is the action. Is I, am, am I correct or wrong? If you are thinking you are correct, he will definitely appreciate you and take that action only. Okay. You are, see, you have the, you are a learning period. That is a learning phase, and you have to utilize this completely. Sometimes you feel that uh, there is lot of works given by no, 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 not that is the thing. If you cannot chip on deck, okay, you cannot feel that how much time it is required to chip the certain area, okay. When you will become the chief officer, when you will assign the job, then you will understand that this much area will take this much time. This number of people will be required and by this time i can complete the job so you have a brief restricted idea you don't believe when i was a cadet i was about painting you no know, paint has different different paints you will get i was master in that in paints basically that thinner hardener which things you have to mix how it will work which kind of paint should be used in which kind of area why i'm using that basically you can you can mug up that this the kind of thing i can use but why i'm using this that is very important okay like in panama chokes we used to use the bituminous paint why because bituminous paint is the most resistant paint when the chaffing chaffing means the friction with the rope is going on in the panama chokes there is a if you use the acrylic paint or epoxy paint there is acrylic will not last anymore uh, even epoxy will not, not last if you use on that panama chokes it will rough off within i think two or three morning operation you won't see any kind of paint so used to the bituminous kind of paint black bituminous so that is the thing the composition of paint you can find it easily if you if you go through msds material safety data sheet you will find everything each and everything what is going on okay so that is the thing as a cadet you have lot of jobs learn basically you have to enjoy your job if you are frustrated oh i am doing this why i am doing this it will be very difficult you have to be very enthusiastic and very cheerful throughout your contract okay so that was it uh, 
if you like this video please don't forget to press the like button subscribe my channel hit the bell icon press all to get notification for all my upcoming videos thank you guys for watching see you in my next video signing off for them